Okay, welcome people. 2024 Pioneer Open at Saha Lee Golf Course in beautiful Estacada, Oregon. I'm Jan Zingber. I'm Shade Harrison. We're going to give you some commentary. CA Sports Northwest Disc Golf. Are you ready? Here we got the cover sponsors, Disc Junction and Berg Sports. Let's get after it. This was a really cool and beautiful tournament. The weather really turned out after some windy rounds. We have a final round here. On the card, we got Emmett Kyson, Zachary Christ, Dallas Garber, and Scott Withers. A uh, new face to the coverage would be Emmett. I think all these other guys may have gotten featured on this before. Maybe not Zach Christ, but here we are. Hole one, par three. Tell us about it, Jans. All right, this one is um, tough to get to. A really tough starting hole. Lots in the way, 449 to get around. You either have a giant spike hyzer or challenge the out of bounds on the left and you go forehand. Let's see what happens here. Big downhill shot, so you really just want to get the width right. Let the disc glide the whole way. Looks a little short. Yeah, that'll be definitely be short. Zach Christ, oh, looking good with the flowing locks on hole one. Okay, so this is it. If you can get it underneath, that is, oh, hit a little limb at the end. He's probably still 70 away. Yeah, circle two probably. Here we go, the kid, Dallas Garber. Really looking great, 1,005 rating. Solid. Just climbing. Looks a little inside, but I like the flip it got. Yeah. It might actually be exactly what the hole wants. Yeah, inside's how you get it there. That looked pretty darn good. And here he is, our Oregon champ, old man Withers, coming up here, kicking all our butts for many years. 1029 rating. Also one of the, the great TDs in the state. 147 wins, it said there. That's a few. Yeah, a couple two-tree wins. Oh, it flipped a little bit. Be interested to see where that lands. There is a tree kind of by the basket that if it hits, it might just fall right down and park it. I love that idea. Someone's parked. Good little bid there from about 80 feet. Yeah, that was most of the field. You see there, Scott is a little wide and long. That flip up. Starting your round out with a putt that big. If you make it, it's you're feeling good. Mm. Ooh, tough. Yeah, Dallas always an aggressive putter. It looks like we may have missed an upshot by Zach Christ. Unless he's parked. That's what I'm thinking. I, let's see. Park. Yeah, yeah missed we missed shot. it. <laughs> We're good. This is a pretty standard score here on this first one. Um, tough one to get, but a great warm-up hole. Yeah, it's a, it's a good feeling birdie to get 400-something feet. Got to be real accurate. Yeah, Emmett really put it together that first couple of rounds this is an a tier this, this is yes yeah. so this is really round three a lot of work put in okay yeah, four, stroke, four stroke lead so this is 299 par three there is lots of out of bounds here not only is that green but you see on the left here that flagged part it really comes in and that's the way that the wind normally blows doesn't look like much wind today if you go a little long there should be a little more cushion on the left side or of a landing zone but that ob is tight on both sides for sure just needs to dig nice easy Perfect. throw though that was really well done nice and wide throwing a real Skip. stable disc that's not going to go much farther oh, than 299 Ooh, nice yeah, flirting with that green. This is um, really a must get on this course. Distance wise, for sure, yeah. But 
thing about this course, there is a lot of out of bounds, lots of opportunities for score separation, even on holes that might not seem the most difficult distance wise. Easy to pull them or get a skip. And uh, when it's blowing the wind, it could uh, it could really be dicey, but it seems like they the flag's not moving too much today. Look at that grouping. So Zach Christ here, Southern Oregon, young golfer, really can bomb the disc and has really been on the up and up for quite a few years now. Yeah, he's really talented. He's got a good forehand and backhand combo and, a, and also a putt. It's a good recipe for a nice thousand rated golfer. Yeah. I think he's thousand rated. I think he is too, or, or right there at it. Yeah. Nice, simple stroke. I really like how compact everything Emmett does. Drive is really compact. Yeah, I'm not really familiar with Emmett's game. I just recently met him within the last year or two. Haven't got a chance to play with him. Um, one of these days, it'll happen. But, yes. But he's doing something. He's got a four-stroke lead through two rounds on a really tough A-tier field. So. Yeah, this is some classic uh, Scott Withers chasing him down scenario. So I'm really excited to see what happens. All right. Love this hole. Par four. It is a bit of a crush to get it over both this pond and this green here and keep it in bounds. Yeah, the uh, camera's kind of uh, oriented right on the, the landing zone between the, the two OBs, the green and the pond. Exactly. You can't crush it too far straight because there's also a OB uh, a little long or if you turn it over. It's, uh, it's a big throw and, and sometimes you get an assisted wind, but we'll see how these guys want to attack it. It dog legs to the left a bit. This is the day to really go for it. Looks like he's going for that landing zone between the two out of bound hazards. Mm. Oh, and I think that's in the green. I think he. Or maybe it's in between. Hopefully, he brought his divot tool. Yeah, hopefully so. <laughs> One thing about sure. sharing these kind of uh, golf courses with golfers <laughs> is, um, you know, when you mess up their greens, then they're, they're not too happy about it. Okay, so he's trying to go over, trying to skip off it Yeah, that should it skip here. off. Oh, oh, yeah, easy. Perfect. And he got it moving left, too, so he should really be looking that maybe be, 100 feet. That 100 could so be feet. an eagle look right there. Yeah. Oh, look who's going for it. Oh, mm, flipped yes. Flipped flat, too flat. There's OB straight. That yeah. was a great treat. Yeah, that was the kind of the mistake I was talking about or alluding to. If you flip it over or get it going too straight. Oh, oh my god. Call gosh. That right there the edge because I mean that is longer grass. <laughs> oh, tough. That is a tough one was, to swallow. It was also so deep in the green. <laughs> <I know. laughs> oh no. That'll happen. Wow. wow. Look at the angle on that. Yeah, this upshot's really specific. You can't throw it too low or too high. It's kind of like a perfect uh Head height window, you gotta just throw it flat through. Oh, it looks like he hit a pine cone or a stick or something. This is such a good hole. Yeah, this is a really tough spot. Two angles here, there's one. Zach played it great Here's though. Here's two, and that's how it's done. Yeah, I've never seen people go super left, but I think that's definitely the play, how Zach played the hole. Wow, Dallas Garber, or do that was this, a, yeah. That was a bomb. Of course, this is what you get afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Seven feet of, of bush right between you and the basket. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's not too obstructed. He Look, he was able to keep it. Oh, my gosh. He oh. thought he had it. Pretty flat. Wow, good run. Really great run. <laughs> After all that, to see the basket not catch. Toilet stings. <laughs> That's a tough one. Yeah, I uh, I can see how this one gets bogeyed, but you never really want to pick up a bogey as a leader this early. You want to hold on to those strokes and make them make your other players make mistakes. Oh, well, at least he's making it interesting for us. Absolutely, great putt there. And at least he has four strokes. Look where that upshot landed from Scotty. That was a really 
a really hard, very technical shot. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Throwing him in the puddles <laughs> to clean him off. Classic. That's Oregon golf right there. Pro tip. There you go. Things tightened up here. Yeah, the whole card got a stroke on two strokes on him. Oh, yeah. That's that's enough to make you a little nervous, especially with some tougher holes coming up. Okay, par four, 586 feet. You really have to control the distance here on this drive because you can get it all the way to that green. Um, I seriously doubt any of them are gonna go for it to try to get the eagle. It's yeah. really just a nice layup. Stay on the left side because there's OB on the right. And then a little forehand or backhand in. Yeah, you'd have to throw it pretty much 586 feet for the uh, to, to go for the two. There I guess is. you can bail out to the left and try to hit a 100-foot putt. But, yeah, there, a lot of these guys are just going to be throwing a nice controlled distance shot, giving themselves less than 200 in for an approach uh, would be the best way of playing it. See, he's not really trying to bite off too much. He's just throwing a smooth swing with a nice flippy high-speed disc. Perfect. Enough bite to... Yeah get down before the green that is pretty much ideal yeah it's gonna have sub 200 into the green for birdie another great drive so the first two rounds were very windy we're talking 35 to 45 mile an hour gusts which makes this hole a lot harder because it's easy to you're throwing into a headwind and it can turn over right which is OB so this is a cakewalk this all of them should get this one so there's a bit of a pressure of birdie or die on this hole that's a nice looking rip yeah smooth compact yeah this should make uh, pretty good work of this little chip shot I think all of them are less than 200 I think uh, Zach's maybe got a chance to spin one in I don't remember. Is there OB behind this one? There's not. Then yeah, may as well. It's basically in a little bowl mm -hmm. right there. Perfect yeah. touch. So there's a berm right before the basket, and if you just land it there, it's actually a great spot for a putt. Ooh, a little wide. Yeah, a little strong. Look at that little corner turn. <laughs> Just yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, I mean, some players like taking a an X step no matter what the distance. Some people like going stand still. Yeah, the approach. That's a tough one to swallow. I mean, he was probably 150 feet out on that approach. Think about Zach, though. He's probably going to birdie the next eight holes after he does something True like that. story. And I promise I have not actually looked at the scores. Neither have I. So this is all, we're watching it live together. Did you play this tournament? I did not. I got to play this one. Really fun. You know, we ve we have very few A-tiers here in Oregon. So um, congrats to Anthony Hammerschmidt and Callie McMorrin for getting this up to an A-tier this year. So there you have it. Things are still tightening. Zach drops back a little bit and we're gonna go to our sponsors.
Here we go. More springtime disc golf at Saha Lee. So if you're in the Portland area, make sure to go check out Disc Junction for all your disc golf needs. All used discs are $2 off on Tuesday. There's the shout out and uh, we are back doing it. Are we ready? Par three, 364 feet. And uh, you're gonna see a theme on a lot of these holes which are getting the disc to move to the right, but basically straight between 350 and 420 feet. Yeah, I remember this stretch of holes from whenever I played this a few years back. A lot of forehands if you got it. Um, this one is pretty straight though, wouldn't you say? It's very straight. Yeah. Yeah, and most of them just want a little drift right. Yeah, and you don't want to hit the flag stick on the green that Dallas almost just hit. Woo, the, getting dangerous. That was a spicy shot, though. Really good shot. Scott Withers, just an angle master. Oh, that's also oh, go in. tracking the oh, pin. Oh, no. And you hit it. That, but better, that better it got off the green it after did. I just called that. It did. That's the thing, though, about this one. It's like you kind of want to drive it low. You got a backstop, but <laughs> you're bringing in a half-inch flagpole into play. Battle putt, too. That's funny because the flagpole seems like it's almost in the perfect ace line. Come on, come on. Who knows, though? At 364 yeah. feet it with a backstop behind it, it's just a low laser. But wow. here's what happens oh, if man. you finish Ooh. too far to the left. Spicy run by Zach Christ. I did not realize this massive bushy tree is in the way if you go left. Seems oh, like yes. this is a forehand. After looking at that, actually, you, want to take that out of play. you don't want it to flare too much to the right unless okay. you can really get that forehand to stand up. Almost everyone goes straight at it. Wow. Tough. Two players making the mistake of giving themselves no look at the basket. Really? Middle of the cage, maybe? Hey, I'll take that. Yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> Boy, you can see these greens after three days and lots and lots of competitors. They're looking pretty muddy. Great birds there. Fun hole. Well, if you curious like that see. one, boy, we got some more for you. <laughs> I'm curious to see what Scott's drive would have done without that flag stick hit. It looked like it was hunting the basket. Might have been a little short. Who knows? We'll see. It was tracking. Yeah. The great thing about that hole is you can really blast at any speed because it will hit that berm exactly. and stay right by yeah. it. Well, it's within one. Dallas is... Claude himself one back of the leader. I think Scott's one back of him. Still anyone's game this early in the round. Hole six, um, par three, 395. So you see it here, really, this tree is guarding the hyzer in. See it right there? And so it's challenging it, not going too far. But if you leave it short, you end up on that green. Straight at it. Flipped a little too much. It's going to end up way right. I like it. It's got the stability. Yeah, there'll be a putt from there. Back at the green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun type of golf shot to throw, like your neutral fairway driver, get it to flip, break over a little bit. Scott's doing that it perfect. so good. Pretty stability, much just oh, wow. throwing a disc that you know is going to go exactly 400. And just giving it a nice committed full swing. This doesn't look that committed to me. Uh, it looks like it's going to end up on the green. Get off it. Oh, oh stable good enough. skip. We'll see. Mm. See Get off the green. Off. Yeah, it looks like it does. Okay, good. Long birdie putts. At least there's no big bush in the way this time. That's good for a par. That'll do. Dallas is going to have an opportunity to tie the lead. Settle down. Look at that. Oh, what happened to Dallas's? Oh, there it is. I Speed see. Speed of play. Just happened out. 
Does have a death putt, it looks like. Mm, I wonder if he's going to dad putt this thing. Doesn't look like it. No, I think it'll come in at about 45 miles an hour. <laughs> Stripe. Oh, oh my oh gosh. That <laughs> What a run, man. Oh, to be young. His putt is so awesome. It really is. Great, confident run, Dallas. That was awesome. Pretty cool. <laughs> Just completely accurate. Left and right. Mm-hmm. Love the pace on it. Wonder how Emmett's feeling. He's lost his lead in the yeah. front nine. Yep. Oh, sorry. He's actually still holding on to his lead through he, six. But he's lost some of his yeah, lead. And there's old man Withers just raring to go. Five down. It's a great start. It is a great start. So this is a really interesting, <laughs> look at this footage, this is hilarious. This is a very interesting um, hole here. You can go straight at it super low, but really it's a forehand on two angles to get it there. I think I remember that. I think you want to throw a big, tall flex shot, but there is a very narrow creek out of bounds in front of the basket that your disc will go into somehow it will. every single time. <laughs> Pretty much. <clears throat> There you go. Got That's it to go straight one. for a little bit. That is just how you want to throw this. Wow. Yep. He's throwing it long. I think that is def I mean, that's definitely the way of playing it. You don't want to be risking it short, but trying to throw it about three hundred and twenty feet without burning it over. It's a real sensitive angle. Mm, this just one needs is to get be lucky. It and unlucky. It did not. That happens so often for a four foot wide OB Creek. And that's why you need that two angles. There's that one angle. The height should bring it back. Get over it. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. You'd much rather be in that position running a putt rather than trying to, this also happens quite a bit. Skip off of it. Zach's putting himself about 50 feet quite a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. This is more than 50. Doesn't know his own strength. Oh, good run at it. Tricky with those trees. So where anyway. Dallas is, as you see, it actually is pretty darn close there. Nervy putt. Great nice. putt. That's a way to save your par. Good job, young man. <laughs> Looks like we have a third commentator on, the, on the camera. Love it. Needs this one. And gets it. Nice wow, job. really great putt there. Really good time for that to drop in the basket. He's not had the start he wants. Really great putt there by Scott. Committing to the routine following through towards the chains. That's how it's done. All righty, that's hole seven. Got two more on the front nine. Things are getting interesting. A lot of players pushing. Yeah. We, Emmett with a good birdie though. That puts him two under on the round. Finally getting uh, maybe some momentum on his side again. They, uh, the front nine has definitely been challenging here we go hole eight par four 460 a gettable eagle if you really want to push both that sand trap and that green did they stretch this one back or has it always been a par four you know they had this as a par four last year mm. as well gotcha it yeah. really is gettable and I, i'm Curious to see if they'll risk it. I think this is the same tee pad it's always been. I just think they used to call it a par three. Yet. Oh wow! Maybe you're right. Two years ago, I think is must have been when I played. Yeah, it's really specific. Right pin high. If you throw it the perfect distance, but a little too far right, you'll be in the uh, bunker there. That looks a little short, but still a good rip. Oh, it hit the tree. Oh, that was a, what a break! A I really think that was going trick. OB left. <laughs> yeah, looking at those, looking at the flags. 
Either that or tombstoning right in. This looks awesome. Just looks like a perfect 400 foot stock shot. Exactly. Give himself a circle two look for perfect. Yeah. Bonus get. That's the smart way of playing this one. I guess Dallas is trying to get all the way there. Did he get it turned? Did he see a little too much? Mm, but it yeah, doesn't no. look like he'll be penalized for it, so that looks just right. No harm, no foul. Ooh. Just need some wind lift here. <laughs> Stay out of the wind. You heard it. Low and hard. Flat. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Rough one. Yeah, it didn't quite get the wrist on it. It kind of just fluttered out of the air. It's a big, big distance for a jump putt. Got to make sure to spin it. It'll happen sometimes. This would be a really good bonus. It certainly would. Let's see if Scotty can pick it up. Looks like he's warming up that stepper. Well, not, not, the, not his best work. Ooh. Tough one. Zach getting some laughs from the cameraman. There we go. <laughs> Little putt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fired up making one. That's a very hard putt to make after having some mental errors like that. Totally. Kudos. Well, uh, not the whole Zach was wanting, but these guys played it pretty routine otherwise. Just kind of pushing it to the next one. Yeah, seems like Still. pretty soft for a par four. But yeah, I was surprised to hear it's par four, but pretty I mean, hard for a par three. Yeah, I think with that OB on the left tapered in, and when you get a little wind in your face on this hole, it probably scores close to a par four, maybe or soft par four. Yeah. It's hard to really tell. But look at this, we got two strokes, two stroke lead for Emmett, starting to get some momentum, two in a row for him. One more hole in the front nine. If he can get two, three strokes going to the back nine, maybe he can play a little different than he would be if he's neck and neck, you know? Exactly. S seems like he likes being in the driver's seat, and he's done a pretty good job managing so far. And I think this is the section of the course where you warm up beforehand. Is that right? It can be, although this is very much like the hole a few ago, what was it, six? Mm -hmm. where it's basically straight just with a little drift to the right. Okay. And so, once again, you just want to throw it over. Oh, look at that. See, you called it. Well, I think, I think kind of the philosophy, there is a bunch of forehand holes coming up. So maybe you just kind of want to get a feel, warm it up on this one. I think Scott's probably glad that he... Uh, that he's starting to warm it, it up because they're, he's going to need it on the next few holes, yeah. I think, if you're playing the percentage shot. This on our card was the common play, just something with a little bit of drift. Yeah. Um, it got over there. Is a putt over there? Yeah, I think it probably ideally if you can keep it on Anheuser. Mm. Or I see a Heiser play. Low Heiser. Yep. Mm, tough. And he smacked the tree. That's what you bring into play when you try to – force the hyzer on it let's see if zach can get this oh, that he looks he definitely really has the power good. on the on the forehand to get this skip and go. oh dude <laughs> cameraman loves it you heard it that's what it looks like Ooh, look at this two angles love that come on dallas let's hit a big one it's up Oh. He wants them. That's awesome. Yeah, it and really he, is. He's still keeping that putt pretty close for his comebackers too, which is awesome. Wow. Great putt. There's some momentum and taking advantage of it too. Such a lofty putt. I'm not going to lie, Zach. I thought yours was under the basket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah. kept it really simple. Just threw a straight shot, something that he knew would would flip up just a bit right yeah 
Yeah, Emmett seems to be managing the nerves quite well. I don't know that he's ever been in, in the driver's seat. Nine holes left of an A tier. We'll see how he does on this back nine. And if he has, I didn't know that. <laughs> there you go, yeah. But I don't think he has. I think this is uh, uncharted territory for him. Well, what we do know is we have seen this man on the lead cards chasing people down so many times before. So I'm sure that there's some amount of nerves in managing them that that is happening. So there you go. Yeah, three strokes is not comfortable. Not yet, especially with Scott and Dallas right there. You know, it could, uh, it could get real interesting. Make sure to tune back in for the back nine. Yeah, I can't wait. We'll see you then.